हेलो एवरीवन आई एम संजय गुप्ता आई वेलकम यू ऑन संजय गुप्ता टेक स्कूल सो एज यू कैन सी दिस इज डे वन फॉर एपियन बूट कैम्प एंड आई हैव अंकित विद मी सो वेलकम अंकित ऑन द चैनल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस बूट कैम्प एंड आई थिंक दोज हु आर जॉइनिंग दिस बूट कैम्प लाइव एंड इफ यू आर वॉचिंग द रिकॉर्डिंग एज वेल सो यू माइट हैव गॉन थ्रू द डे ज़ीरो और वी कैन से एन ओवर व्यू सेशन मे बी लाइव और रिकॉर्डिंग सो आई होप एवरीबडी नो वॉट एपियन इज वाई वी यूज एपियन एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ सर्टिफिकेशन यू कैन डू विद एपियन एंड वॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ करियर अपॉर्चुनिटीज विल बी अवेलेबल टू यू सो इन दीज रेगुलर सेशंस अंकित विल बी शेयरिंग ऑल द इनसाइट रिलेटेड टू एपियन विद यू so that you can understand uh, how you can build some solutions uh, on appian and uh, in today's session he will be guiding you like how uh, you can do some hands on right so this is the agenda for uh, today's session so let's kick start and uh, before starting the session i just want to uh, like request you uh, please uh, uh, like follow sanjay gupta tech school on youtube linkedin instagram and telegram and uh, all the important links related to this boot camp are available in the description so uh, follow proper session tracker so that you don't miss any of the session and uh, please share a review so uh, if we if we if you see here like uh, uh, if you share a review or feedback so it will be helpful for us to improve the quality and uh, the, the delivery method and whatever you need so uh, basis on that we'll be able to improve those things right so with this note i hand over mic to ankit so over to you ankit please uh, uh, share your knowledge related to appian so that everybody can uh, start learning appian and start working on that over to you ankit thanks sanjay sir thank you very much so uh, in our last session we discussed about you know that what is appian as sanjay sir told and about the benefits of appian why we should use okay and uh, if you know or other you know apn certification and all so today we will go uh, no in more deep like we will learn about the <coughs> apn environment how it works okay how we can access the environment uh, how what is uh, how we uh, like end user can access the environment how the developer can access the environment okay and what all components we can build and how the application look like on in apn so we will learn all those things today okay so coming uh, to the first point that is apn environment so apn is a web based cloud in cloud uh, environment that allows developers to build and deploy application as a developer you can access apn by entering the appropriate url in a web browser so uh, in apn you no need to install any software if you are developer Uh, you can directly you know uh, fill the url in your browser and it support all type of browsers like you can use chrome you can use uh, uh, mozilla you can use uh, like you know that edge or apple safari and other browsers okay and <clears throat> once you hit the url so so one login window will open to you in which you can fill the uh, apn credentials and can submit and now you will be able to access the environment so once you know uh, login on the environment that i will show you uh, you will be able to see multiple components and feature that will we will discuss later but once uh, once you have the you know access of environment you will be able to access all its feature okay now the second point is apn environment types so if you are an organization or a company okay so in that case apn support both on premise and uh, on premise or self managed and apn cloud based environments okay so in an on premise environment apn is installed and hosted on servers that are located within an organizations own data center okay so if like the company which is using apn they you no know, manage the apn environment they do not have the support okay uh, they have their own you know admin to manage that uh, environment uh, if there is any thing that we need to upload and all so all the fee the control they have now if you uh, you can 
host your APN environment on AWS, Google Cloud, or Microsoft Azure as well. In if you are talking about you know, on-premise environment more, so APN is you know the installed and hosted on servers that are located within an organization. So in this one. So you know that this type of development provides organization with direct control over their hardware, software, and security. So it is suitable for companies that have specific security or compliance requirement because they have everything on their uh, infrastructure. Okay, so they no need to take care or you know about the security and all. Or those who prefer to maintain complete control over their infrastructure. Now. Come to the uh, APN cloud environment. So APN cloud environment is hosted and managed by APN. Okay, so you no need to manage anything if you have APN's cloud environment. Everything is managed by APN itself. You will just have you know get the APN URL, okay, and credentials so you can directly access as developer. And so in this one. This type of deployment eliminates the need for organizers to manage their own infrastructure. Okay, so like uh, everything is taken care by APN itself. Like hard hardware, scalability, maintenance, everything will be uh, take care by APN. And cloud deploy deployment provides flexibility, scalability, or rapid deployment. Okay, because uh, in that case you will have everything connected with each other. Okay. Now, uh, Ankit, come sorry to, to APN license. Uh, Ankit, sorry to interrupt. Uh, can you please turn on video? I think it is my, by mistake oh. turned off. One second. Yep, now. Thank you. Yeah, sure. So, uh, now come to the APN licensing custom. Uh, okay, that is for customers. So, if an organization wants to use the APN environment, for their application, a license is typically required. Okay, so this license is required for APN customers, not for the developers or any other APN partner. Okay, that can be provided by APN corporation. So we, you know, uh, if any of the customer want uh, APN environment to use their for their application, then they can request to APN sales team and discuss about you know their projects and all, or they and they can, they will get the access of APN environment. The specific licensing terms, pricing, and requirements may vary depending on factors such as organization size, usage, requirements, and deployment options. So, like you know, the APN is a uh, price-based you know, uh, environment. So, in this that one, uh, <coughs> it, you know, it has some pricing, and the pricing depend on the users who are uh, number of users who are using the application or uh, APN environment. Okay, and uh, what you know. Uh, uh, like uh, configurations they want, what deployment, if it is cloud based or on premise server, whatever. So, on basis of that, the price will be decided. And it's on subscription module, like uh, per, you know, that per user per month or something like that. Okay. So, uh, and for, you know, pricing module, you can check on this, you know, URL. So, here you will get all the pricing details of APN, like how much, you know, price will be there and all. And for more discussion, you can directly connect with APN sales team as well. Okay, they will guide you uh, as per your requirement, like what will be the suitable uh, environment and uh, how what configurations will be needed for you. Okay, now APN licensing that is for developers. Okay, so if you are a developer working for an APN partner company, okay, so some, there are some APN partner company like you know that. If some some company have direct contract with APN, okay, so to provide the development services, okay, so for that or educational partner and all, so for that there is no need, you know, the, it will provide them a demo environment, okay, on which they can practice. So if you are working as a developer for a APN partner company, you will also have the access of that demo environment, okay, and you can do the practice on that. You can create your own application. You can. Uh, access other features of APN also, okay? Like if you are working for a customer, okay? Like for a bank, for an insurance company, then you will have the access for customer environment, okay? Because customer already 
no if uh, any of the customer is working on apn they will already have a you no know, apn environment on which they will develop the you know they want their application to host so you will also work on the same environment on which client you know client or customer want the, their application if you are not working for an apn partner company or a customer okay like uh, you are just start learning of apn okay and you are not working in apn you know any of the apn company so in that case apn give the access of apn community environment okay that is completely free and you can request by yourself as well so now the <coughs> next point is how to access apn community environment okay so in, you can request for apn community environment by yourself okay you no need to request to apn or you know but you can create a request directly okay from its community to request for apn community environment first you need to log in on apn community okay so before accessing apn environment you need a community environment you know or community uh, account in apn okay so to get the community account or to access the community account you can use this url https community dot apn dot com okay now i can show you how it looks like so you can see here this is <coughs> apn community environments login page okay so in the in this one you can see here we have one page that is register now if you are already a user of apn so you can directly uh, you know uh, type here your your uh, email address or username and password if you are a new user you can click on register now to register on apn community okay in this on this page you have to fill the details like basic details only like your email address your password okay here you can confirm the password your first name last name and just consent once you submit the, this form okay You, uh, there will be one you know acknowledge you know there will one email you will get on your you know email id for acknowledgement and once you acknowledge the request you will have the access of apn community so then you can directly access the apn community you no no need to do anything else so this is very simple process for this and once you have so yeah so once you have access of the community then you can raise the request for apn's community environment okay from your profile page okay so on profile page you will get one button that is get my site i can show you how it looks like okay so this is my uh, community page okay now i do not have any community community account so it is visible to me in right side you can see get my site i can to get the access of apn to request for the apn access i can click on this button okay and it will ask me some details like uh, select your cloud region uh, language think, can you please zoom in like control plus so that uh, i think it okay. is not readable is it yep. visible now yeah yeah now it is okay visible. thank you okay so in uh, no so i can reload or i can okay so this is my apn community okay and from this i can request for my apn community environment like development environment okay so to that i have a button in right side right get my site i can click on this button okay this will show this uh, basic details like uh, on which region you want to access the apn okay language and what is the region to access okay to apn environment okay so you can select the uh, appropriate details and agree on the terms and can submit the request okay this is all you have to do then apn will review this and will give the access of apn environment so you will get an you know, an email by apn with your uh, environment url and your temporary username password so you can just uh, fill your you know uh, your uh, uh, url that is provided by apn on your browser and uh, fill your username password to get the access okay that's all you have to do to uh, you know do to <coughs> get the access of apn environment but it takes about 7 to 10 days you know because apn first review the your you know your request and then process the request so generally it takes 7 to 10 days it's depend on like how many requests are there in apn queue 
Okay, so this is all you have to do for uh, to get the access of APN community environment. This is just the page that we just you know check. In this one, you can see here we have uh, this is a community.apn.com page. From here, you can click on this sign in register page. Once you click on this sign in register page, you will have the option and that we just you know uh, check where you can fill the sign in details or registration details. And this one also we check. Okay, from here, this one you can get the access. Now, come to the APN interfaces. Okay. So, Ankit, there is one question. Now, Priyanka is asking for learning which community edition we select. Yeah, so for learning, there is an option, okay, in this one, in region, you can select here. Like, you can select the region India, and in this one, you can select, like, you know, that uh, there will be no option. I'm available. Uh, I'm experiencing with the app development or new feature. You can select this one, okay, to get for learning purpose. Okay, I think Priyanka, this uh, this is the answer for your question. Yeah, so I think we can go ahead, Ankit. Oh, thanks. So APN interfaces, okay. So we can uh, APN can you know we can categorize APN interfaces in two part. One is end user interfaces and other is developer interfaces. End user interfaces are generally okay for business users who will access the application okay and work on that application. They do not require any coding, they do not know any coding and also they won't have the access of APN coding environment, but just the application okay that they want to use or that we are building for them. So user you know apn provides the user friendly interfaces to interact with applications so in one environment uh, for a, a customer can build as many as applications they want like uh, if i have one apn environment so i can develop 10 applications 20 applications any number of applications that i can i can you know i need to develop yeah and this can be accessed through web browser or mobile devices both so APN have an app, you know, uh, app market application also. From there also you can access the APN on Android mobile or Apple, okay, or <coughs> app market. And in, in this, you know, this uh, end user interfaces are generally to uh, user to perform their tasks. Tasks like you know that they can create a request, they can complete their assigned task, they can review their request or they can check the record if there is any reports they can see or they can check the sites and all okay so this is all for business users who are the real users who they want who want to use the application now the second interface type that is developer interfaces or we can say designer interfaces so these are generally for developers or designers who develop the application like who code into the application so generally uh, what they need they need like you know that uh, coding you know, uh, platform or coding uh, ex, you know interfaces and all okay and they need to deploy the application from one environment to other environment so for that they will be needed of the option to deploy the application okay and to manage and configure apn environment like uh, if i want to change the branding of you know APN environment, if I need to change, if I need to create users in APN, new users in APN, okay, or if I, you know, need to uh, connect with database, then I, all these things are like, you know, that to manage the whole environment. So this, these are, you know, can be done from admin console. So I can show you how it looked like. Second. So this is APN's developer environment, okay? That you can see here. So from here, you know that you can see here there are multiple applications are already uh, we have, okay? And if you, you know, you can also develop your application. You you can use any of the feature that is provided by APN. Like you can see here, you can create new application. You can create, you can import existing applications. There will be some component that you can you know create from here you can see the objects you can 
deploy the application from one environment to other environment uh, from you know this one this option and then you can monitor okay the existing processes or you know that which are already running or request which are already running so this is all overall you know that uh, a high level view of designer or developer environment that apn provide so we will read you know learn about each and every topic or each and every component feature uh, you know in in our regular sessions okay so we will uh, you know learn in, oh, everything in deep now this is like you know that this is the designer interface to access you know that uh, uh, end user interface we have multiple options that we will learn like one is tempo okay that you can have the access okay and uh, i will show you how does it work and then there will be some sites and all so we will read about this one by one okay now come to the end user interfaces that we discussed just now so first one is tempo okay it provides four type of uh, uh, end user interface first one is tempo second is sites third is portal and fifth is embedded interface so tempo is like you know the oldest uh, apn user interface okay that is like a default user interface that is provided by apn okay so its uh, overall look and feel is you know that provided by on set up by apn so we cannot change uh, in this from this one user can access multiple in, sub interfaces or interfaces like actions actions is like you know that if i want to create a new request or perform new action then we can use apn actions okay then tasks if some tasks are assigned to me like someone else is assigning me a task i can complete the task from here okay then records like you know that if i created a request or if i raise a request like i can say like if i'm filling the you know, hr form uh, or i can up you know uh, requesting for a job so i will fill the details okay so that details which i am filling is action okay because i am taking the decision first time then hr it will assign to hr okay so for hr it is a task right records like if i i, I can see my details at any time like my request details any time uh, from a view or read only view that is records okay so from records uh, i can take the decision uh, on that particular request as well like i can edit the request or i can uh, you know close the request or i can take other decision reports are like you know that charts and all that is related to multiple objects okay so uh, like we can create matrix we can create different different type of graphs to like you know that to check the performance of a company like how many requests are raised how many requests are Uh, on this particular status and all so this type of uh, in you know uh, activity we can perform on tempo so i can show you how tempo looks like that we search now so to access the tempo you have to just go to this webpal menu and right tap okay and you can click on this one here you can see we have five tabs on top okay news tasks records reports and actions okay so actions are uh, to create a request okay new request report reports are to know ch check the matrices or charts and all that we can check from reports records we can you know uh, check our you know create uh, request which are created by us or which are created which is created by anyone else we can check from here if any of the task is assigned to me i can check from here okay and from news we it is for social collaboration where i can post something i can kudo something or i can comment on any other post it is you know similar functionality that other social platform have okay so this is about tempo we will read about this you know deep in you know next sessions but this is like you know high level view that how uh, uh, it look like now come to the second that is sites okay so sites is you know that uh, for you know for a particular application in tempo i cannot see my particular application right these tasks are visible 
to all of the application actions are for all of the applications uh, security apply here as well but we cannot you know we cannot differentiate with applications okay so <clears throat> this is not dedicated to a particular application but a particular environment or particular you know client or customer now sites is you know particular for a uh, you know uh, uh application okay so in application like we can set the branding like you know the particular application will have this particular branding that we can set like this particular uh, application will, will have this five or six interfaces that we can uh, define here we can define the particular security and everything is dedicated to a particular application so sites are you know more you know related to a particular application and how it, these are looks like to access the site also you have to go to this paper menu and you will you can see here all of the sites which are built already on this environment okay so you can access any of the sites from here like uh, this is a demo site you can see so this is site from here you can access you know different different forms uh, this one have only one form and but you know if there are multiple forms multiple tabs you will be you can see from here you can access you can you know uh, take the actions on those forms and all so this is more about sites now third is portal so sites and tempo are both we you need to you know apn credentials okay so portal is a new interface that is provided by apn in latest version only like uh, uh, one year back only so in this one this is for public users okay so tempo and site you can only have uh, access by login on the environment you have to you, you will, will be need of uh, your username and password okay and those are chargeable for a customer okay but sometime customer want a public page as well right like uh, if i want to create you no know, design application for uh, text uh, related application that uh, any of the you know person from a country can access okay so this type of applications uh, uh apn provide the portal okay so in portal you will have just a url you can you know uh, log create you know uh, fill that url in browser and you can access that you there will be no any login credential it will ask there will be no no, no any login credentials the screen will come and it will, it will simply open to you okay so this is for unauthorized or public users they who do not have any apn credentials but yeah it have some limited functionality not uh, as sites have okay but but it you know it can uh, it is also connected with uh, apn you know apn designer only so from where it can get the data uh, you can save the data okay now fourth is embedded interface okay so in apn like suppose i'm you know creating one uh, report in apn i'm creating one uh, created one action in apn uh, and i want to show that report action or interface on my uh, public port you know i or i can say on my company's portal that is not developed in apn that can be html site or something else or built on the different technology that also we can do so we can you know uh, use one any of the apn component okay in other portals as well you have to just put some simple command okay uh, and you can access those you know uh, interfaces outside of apn also okay for that also you will be needed of single sign on okay because it works or it also needed username credentials so if your uh, uh, portal or you know the your html page have the access of if you know have the single sign on and apn also has single sign on it will work okay now come to the apn interfaces for developers so those all interfaces were for end user okay there was no any coding you know and anything just uh, apn uh, customer can have the access and can use their applications on this uh, for type of interfaces but to develop the application or you not know, to design the application develop the application if in provided some designer interfaces as well okay like interfaces uh, user interfaces from where user can you know we can create uh, some 
you know some type of uh, component we can use some type of component we can create a grid we can create forms and all so for those we can provide interfaces other is like business rules so some we need, sometimes we need logics as well right to get the data from database to uh, <coughs> to perform some calculations okay for those we, we are needed business rules third is like process modeler so process model like, like you no know, workflow so apn work you know uh, apn is a process management tool so it works you know uh, it provides the uh, functionality to create a workflow from where uh, from uh, like one step to how it perform from one step to other uh, step so all steps are connected okay that we can develop using process modeler so uh, later on we will re, you know learn about this uh, two this components more but yeah this is overall and then admin console admin console that, that we just you know learn that it provide the administrator functionality to re, you know branding of your apn environment to create the users or to like uh, another uh, to uh, connect with database and many more features is provided okay so how it look like i can show you so designer you can can go here wefl menu and you can have the access of design okay so from this you can see here we have multiple applications which are built already built okay now uh, from here you can see the you know admin console you can go to admin console from here and you can you know you can see here in left side there are multi, you know lot of features apn have so this is first is for branding so you can set the branding colors you know uh, uh, font and uh, everything okay and there are many more like you know the file upload internationalization languages Uh, mobile permission plugins that okay so this have lot of features that and you know uh, api admin can configure from here okay we will read you know read about this uh, in our coming sessions because this is just a high level okay now one more thing that i want to show you here yes so uh, you can see here uh, to you know uh, to check the objects we can go to objects tab okay and we can filter out these are you know apn uh, components or you know that uh, features or you know uh, that we can use to create a application and all are connected with each other okay we will learn about the so like uh, there are some connected system ai skill constant we can create data store data types decision document okay so there are lot of uh, components we have okay so to create an application we will be needed of these you know uh, components okay now one more thing like you know that apn's proprietary language is cell so apn you know works on cell language so whatever code you are writing okay in apn like to uh, if you are creating an interface or if you are writing something so that we you know uh, is cell language okay cell language is like self assembling interface layer okay so cell you know cell allow developers to create responsive and interactive ui so in this one you know that you no need to you uh, know uh, you can develop you know no uh, application code once and you can use anywhere you can use on mobile you can use on laptop or desktop or any other size of you know your systems so you no need to uh, uh, take care about like how uh, code different code you know different code for different uh, systems and all it is already responsive so you have to just write one and you can use that code anywhere now apn users okay so we just check like we can create apn users from apn admin console right so mainly apn you know uh, divide its user in two type one you can see in top that is apn system administrator and other is apn basic users okay 
so like if i'm a end user and if i just want to access of uh, you know that app, an application or tempo or site okay or okay so for that i will be a basic user so basic user will not have the access of designer now i can see you know i am able to see this designer because i am not a basic user okay i am a system administrator but if i am a basic user then this admin console or you know database or like uh, uh, designer in you are you know link i want to be able to see i can only see the site or tempo okay and if, these are also as per the security so if i have the security of one application then i can see only one application here or one site here i cannot see other sites so everything is on based of security okay now come to the apn system administrator so system administrator is you know like a super user for apn okay this is generally for developer okay uh, who is developing the application so system administrator administrator have the access of uh, whatever access basic user have okay like a system administrator can also uh, go to tempo can check the tempo can go to uh, any of the site any of the application there is no any security bugs on apn system administrator okay and addition additionally to that apn system admin have the access of designer also okay so uh, administrator can develop the application okay can use any of the feature of uh, uh, apn okay any of the components of apn and can develop the application okay so for that apn have system administrator to create the you know uh, apn users you can go to admin console that we just check and from this tab you can create okay so in this one you will be having the access of uh, create user okay and from there you can you know Uh, select if it is a basic user if it is administrator user as you will be having the uh, you know you will be having the access uh, to create the user okay and then uh, once you create the user uh, so in uh, that user will have you know so for that user you can create the temporary password or you can you know put it blank so that any of that you know that that user will get an email with the temporary password and that user can access the apn environment with the help of the temporary password it can change the you know uh, password by themselves okay now apn application package so apn application package is like a collection of artifacts or collection of components that we built or, or a developer you know built for a particular you know particular application like some of the constant i created some of the uh, user interfaces i created some of the business logics i did some integrations i used okay so oh, this is you know like a collection of those artifacts or like you know the container of those artifacts that uh, is come under the particular application package okay so we can to create you know the new application package from apn design and interface you can go again to the designer so you can see here these all are application packages okay this like pocv is one application package this d mockups is one application package and every application package have some components that you can see from here okay so you can go to this build and you can see okay so these all are artifacts that you know is built for a particular application to create a new application what you can do you can click on this new application okay so you can you have to just type the apn uh, sorry uh, application name and description of the application like i can say contains you can see here the prefix is already 
you know <coughs> built you know come from apn so it selected like initials of this text so apn a and training t but you can judge so all of the artifacts that we will create in apn will uh, follow this pattern only that uh, all of the artifacts will start with at okay now you can see we have one checkbox here okay and in this one you can see here generate groups and folder to secure and organize objects okay so some uh, no objects are required so apn automatically can also create those artifacts or you can create manually so if you click on this checkbox apn will automatically create those groups and folder okay and you no need to create those by yourself or if you uncheck those checkbox so apn won't create and you have, you can go and you can create by yourself okay now i can click on this create button and it is asking for security okay that we will read uh, you know uh, learn in next session but uh, i can uh, explain you in a high level that you can see here uh, these are apn groups okay custom groups that we will discuss okay and apn groups are like you can say a group of users or a department like you know that in a company we have it department or uh, uh, finance department or you know that sales department so groups are something like departments okay and every department have you know uh, multiple users different different users okay so groups are also collection of users with some uh, properties okay so yeah, you know the to you know secure a particular application to give the permission uh, to set the visibility we use this this groups okay and there are different different level of security also uh, like data viewer editor administrator that we will read okay but uh, these are the security levels that we need to set whenever we are working on any of that if an artifact okay now you can see here uh, this application package is created and uh, from uh, apn given a pop up screen from where you can create any of the artifacts like new records new process model new site or portal that is suggested by apn okay and you can use any of this uh, template okay now i can close this one and uh, if there is already created record process model connected to any of the components you can see from here okay and you can access from here now you you can go to build interface and you can see all of the artifacts related to this application okay like these are artifacts that is created by apn itself because we selected you know that check box now if you want to create a new artifact you can go to new and you can create the application artifact okay like data type data store record type there are multiple type of components that we will read but from here you can create any of artifacts which is needed for an application okay like if you want to create a group you have to click here and you have to fill some details okay and it will create the uh, group for you okay and you have to set some properties and if you want to create an interface you have to just click on here and you have to fill the name this you know that initials are already coming and you have to just type the name in description create and it will uh, you will be able to create an interface from here okay interfaces we will read in you know uh, next session okay but uh, that's how we can create an interface okay or so from here we can create any type of uh, uh, component that we need to create for a particular application for a particular requirement okay so that we can create from here like we can filter out uh, of the objects as well like if i want to filter out all the data types i can filter out if i want to filter out any of the uh, group i can filter out from here i can filter out any other artifacts also from here okay and if i want to check the artifacts which are you know modified by some you know any of the user i can just type you know his or her name and i can filter out the particular you know user artifact or i can filter out the artifacts by uh, more you know uh, date also look okay the like modified date on this that particular artifact we modified okay so this is the application and uh, this application can have n number of uh, you know objects or uh, uh, artifacts okay which that we are creating for a particular application so 
if you are working on any of the application you have to first create the application package okay this is the starting stage in apn if you are working on any of the application okay then uh, you have to create artifacts okay which are required for that particular application okay now come uh, to the next part that is apn's database connectivity okay so you know that uh, that we discussed uh, now uh, just you know that <clears throat> few slides back that apn provide two type of environments like or uh, one is apn cloud environment and second is on premise environment okay so apn if apn we have apn cloud environment so apn provide us the pre built maria db data, database with itself okay with environment itself okay so you can see here this is apn you know apn cloud environment okay so you can see here uh, i have database access also okay so i can access the database from here okay and because i am a system admin so i am have access if i am a user i cannot have but apn provide the pre built uh, database so you can use uh, you know this database also okay that is provided by apn now but if you do not want to use this you know uh, database that is provided by apn and you already have some database that you are using like you are using uh, s you know mari uh, ms sql or uh, oracle or other data relational database you can use okay so that you can also use and for that you know configure that additional database you have to go again to admin console okay and from here you can see we have one data source option in left side right so from here you can access the data source and you can use add new data source okay so data source is nothing but just you know that uh, the connection between apn and uh, database okay so from here you can type the name that you want to give to the particular you know data source you can select type so apn support these many database okay like uh, aurora mysql sql db2 maya db mysql oracle postgresql sql server okay and in this one you can type the connection string of that particular database and username password okay and you will be able to connect with that particular database okay so as many as data source or database you want to connect you can connect so cloud environment have one pre built maria db database and uh, we can configure or connect additional relational database also that is also very easy to connect okay and uh, once you have the access of uh, like you know the database you can create your tables uh, you can create view or any other database related artifact and that those artifacts you can create uh, call in apn by some apn provided components okay that we will discuss now come to the on premise environment so on in on premise environment apn do not provide any pre built database okay you have to add your relational database only in this one okay you have to uh, take you know take that particular uh, database on your server and from the server you can you know check the connection string and you can configure the, the connect, connection string in same way that we are doing in cloud environment okay so other things are same but you went uh, you won't have apn's cl cloud in, uh, database in that case okay. now come to the apn app market okay so like you know that apn provides app marketplace okay where you can find pre built components so or integrations or solutions okay that uh, that has been developed by apn community like any of the apn partner or apn developer develop the application or you know that component or some accelerator type of uh, you know uh, small applications or some complete solutions or any of the plugin okay or any of the other component they can post on apn's uh, app market or anyone can access from uh, you know anyone can have the access of that uh, artifacts or sorry those applications or those uh, components those integrations from the app market so to get the uh, uh, access of uh, apn com, you know uh, app market you can use this url and you can have the you will be having the access of app market so in app market once you you know hit this url 
it will open something like this. In that one, you can see here. Okay. So you. So I can log in. Okay, I can access this by clicking on this link as well. Here you can see uh, all of the applications are there that you know uh, is uploaded on App Market, and you can uh, read about any of the application. And you can schedule a demo because some of the applications are, or you know, that uh, are free. Some of the applications are paid. Some of the applications you can directly download. Okay, but for some you have to connect with the uh, development, you know, that company or team, and you can schedule a demo from here. But you can check the features. Okay, all of the features from here of that particular application. You can see the, you know. Uh, the interfaces and all that is uploaded by that company and you can check the you know uh, the author or the compatible version also of apn industry and all okay and you can check here cost is paid so that means this application paid okay you have to pay something for that one but some of the components plugins okay which are free and cloud approved so you can directly use those components wherever you are required in your application and if you do not have any because APN provides some out of the box features as well, out of the box uh, components. But you know, uh, in any of the requirement that is not fulfilled by the out of the you know the out of the box uh, features or components, you can come here and you can check the uh, any of the plugin that you know, fulfill that particular requirement, and you can have the text and you can download that particular one. Now, so uh, you know that for community environment access, okay, uh, you can directly request by yourself, okay, and please uh, fill this you know Google Forms as well. It is uh, just you no, know, you just need to fill your basic details only, okay. So uh, know that we you know we uh, we will get the re you know, request from you, and we will uh, re you know get you know APN environment, and we can provide you the link, okay, whenever we have like. It will generally take seven to ten days. So once uh, you know we have the access, so we we can provide you the access of APN environment. So you can practice on that environment. Okay. So you have to just fill the details. Okay, just your basic details as soon as possible. Okay, so that uh, you know that uh, then we can check and we can uh, provide you the access of APN environment. Okay. And we are you know, that now open to discussing posted query that you are already posted and. Uh, if uh, any of the queries that you have, you know, in future, please feel free to share any, you know, queries or questions. Uh, you can do, you know, email us uh, at the below email ID that is provided here. Okay, and you can comment on YouTube videos as well. So over to you, Sanjay sir. Yeah, thank you, Ankit, for uh, this yeah. detailed insight. And uh, for your help, like uh, this uh, Google form link I already shared in the chat and uh, those who are live and uh, listening this thing and those who are watching the recording and listening. So if you fee uh, feel any doubt, any problem, so you can just reach out to this email ID or uh, uh, there is a telegram group link which is available in the description of this video. So I'm just sharing that link here in the chat as well. So that if you have any question, any query related to uh, this thing, so you can ask those uh, in the uh, Telegram group. So I'm unable to paste the Telegram group uh, link in the chat. So it is available in the video's description. It, it is available in the uh, session tracker as well, right? So uh, Ankit, there are uh, two questions. So first is uh, from Sai Venkatesh. He is asking any limitation like only these database uh, databases can be connected or appian support mm -hmm. only few uh, so he says further like or any database from market can be connected in on premise mode yes so appian supports some of the database like uh, apn you know generally support the uh, you know support relational database and in relational database also it supports some uh, supports some of the database that you can see here okay so apn support all of these database like db2 maria db mysql oracle postgresql sql server and aurora mysql 
okay so apn support this all type of database okay so we have one more question um, anchit is asking will you give us the access or do we need to request you can also request okay first you request and share the details okay so we will also you know provide you know uh, if you have the access like if you are getting the access in 7 to 10 days so you can use that or you know sometimes it takes time also for you okay so if it is taking more time and if you have access before so we will provide you okay because we have to start you know that practicing as soon as possible on this so we can do both okay so guys if you want to request like you can go ahead and if you have any issues uh, so you can just fill this google form and still if you have any issues so you can reach out to telegram group right and uh, you can just send an email to that email id which uh, ankit showed earlier yeah so i think there are no more question yeah one more question is there so only relational databases are supported in apn yes on the relational database uh, yes anchit so only relational databases are supported okay so i think uh, this is it for today so thank you ankit for sharing uh, this insight to everybody and uh, i think uh, those who have joined this session live and those who will be watching the recording so they will find this uh, day one session very fruitful and once we'll be having the instance created so they will be able to do some practice as well so we'll be having one more session tomorrow right so right now what we are doing we are keeping two sessions in a week so that uh, like once you will be having uh, some instance ready for practice so that will also be helpful for you right so tomorrow also ankit will be sharing some insight with you so do watch that uh, session and uh, it would be better if you join sessions live because if you join sessions live then you will be able to interact uh, us uh, with us directly and ankit will be able to answer your queries and if not possible then just go through the recording uh, in whatever time zone you are whatever time is comfortable and still if your question is not answered so you can reach out to this email id lowcodecornermentor@gmail.com or like telegram link uh, is available in the description so there is one more question ankit manish is asking which programming language is required to build application so apn have its own proprietary language that is cell language so you, you know everything you will develop you will develop on that particular you know cell language only you S no need to know uh, require any other language s a i l right yes yes s a i l okay yeah this one okay self assembling interface layer. okay so it right. it's apn's proprietary proprietary language that is owned by apn itself okay so i think manish your question is answered so yep so thank you ankit for uh, uh, giving this uh, insight and uh, thank you for sharing your knowledge so maybe uh, we'll be uh, coming live tomorrow same time okay yeah. so thank, thank you so you. much yeah thank you everyone for joining this session and those who are watching the recording thank you to you as well thank you thank you all everybody